Let me start this video by talking about the sale of cars in India. You'll be like, what is the connection of sale of cars with bioinformatics? Well, let me explain. So the sale of car in India in last 12 months has been declining except one category, which is growing by 66%. And that category is called as MUV, multi-utility vehicle. So people are not buying regular cars, the cars, they're buying MUVs because it is called multi-utility, right? Okay, let me tell you another story. So this story is about a team member in our company. He is multi-talented. So when the time comes, he can speak to students. When the time comes, he can become a plumber, he can become an electrician, he can become a cook, he can clean our office. He has multiple utilities. Now, just imagine somebody who has got multiple utilities, he becomes so valuable, right? Exactly. Same way, so MUV sales is going up because it is multi-utility. Same way, this person in our team, okay, he is so much talented, so he is multi-utility. So everybody will be, he's in always demand in Biotechnica, right? The same way, there is one field, one tool, one particular category, which has got multi utility in the biotech industry. It is the silent superhero. Just like I said, MUV is a silent superhero of cars. This person in our team is a silent superhero of Biotechnica. In the same way, bioinformatics is the silent superhero of the biotech industry. But now let us understand, like I said, there is a huge demand of these people. The same way bioinformatics is going to be having a lot of demand in the future. But how and why and where? Let's find that out now. Now the first things first, we have always discussed about this in multiple videos and that is the drug discovery revolution. Now in a recent survey done by iBiome among all the biotech CEOs in Bangalore, the question was asked is, where do you see the revolution happening in the pharma industry? 18 CEOs voted that we will see AI, ML and bioinformatics jumping into drug discovery and accelerating it. So revolution of drug discovery in bioinformatics where we do predictive drug target interactions. Now, one of the significant contributions of bioinformatics is obviously drug discovery because it solves a problem, right? If it is not solving a problem, then it's a problem. So yeah, bioinformatics solves the pharma problem, disease problem, which is predictive disease modeling so we can always uh, predict the diseases and also we can predict the drug target interactions moving ahead bioinformatics can also help us understand complex biological processes such as genomic data analysis we can use bioinformatics tools to enable us the extraction of value valuable insights from massive genomic data sets allowing us to uncover patterns and relationships within the genetic code. Now, you know, the genetic co code is vast, right? Understanding it by human mind is impossible and difficult. So we can utilize computers and bioinformatics to understand the genomic data. Followed by that, it will help us interpret the biological processes. We can leverage the bioinformatics tools and we can unravel the intricate mechanisms governing the biological processes. This will help us understand the process and also find out how exactly these processes work in a sync or a synchronization. Next is it makes us understand the insights of genetic complexity. So we can utilize bioinformatic tools and aids in gaining comprehensive understanding of the multifaceted nature of genetic information, providing a deeper comprehension of genetic diversity and variation. A lot has been talked about drug discovery and the genetic variations, genomic data analysis. Now the next part will be developing an algorithm. We will use the power of bioinformatics for disease diagnostics and targeted therapies. That means we can develop an algorithm, we can create disease specific databases and we can target therapies against a particular disease and create personalized medicine. So these are the three applications which we have under the power of bioinformatics in disease diagnostics and personalized treatment. So isn't it a silent superhero of the biotech industry? I'm sure you will agree with me. But hey, till now I have just scratched the surface. There's more to it. 
Let's dive in. Now, it will help us understand the gene expression and regulation. Now, gene expression is the fundamental process that governs the genetic information and is utilized by an organism. Now, it is involving the transcription of DNA into RNA and subsequent translation of RNA into proteins. So this formation of proteins, we have to understand first the genomic expression and then help it help it will help us decipher the molecular mechanisms underlying various biological processes such as development, growth and disease onset. Now, we can also utilize bioinformatics for regulation of gene expression. For example, it can help us dictate when and what extent a gene instructions are carried out. This process is finely orchestrated involving a complex interplay of transcription factors, epigenetic modifications and non-coding RNA. So we can utilize the bioinformatics tools to understand this genetic expression and regulation. Moving ahead. Nobody can deny today in this post-COVID era about the contribution of bioinformatics in vaccine development. I'm sure you have heard of the mRNA vaccine which was developed by Moderna and it was developed using bioinformatics. Now the best part of this mRNA vaccine is there is no viral particle involved so it is completely safe and it is FDA approved. Now why did it happen? We utilized the bioinformatics tools to analyze the pathogen that was the first step. Then we also used bioinformatic tools to find the vaccine efficacy and we also did immunogenicity studies using bioinformatics tools. So you can see the vaccine development process at every stage we can use bioinformatics. Multifaceted, multiple roles, but one single tool. So it's like you can be that MUV of the biotech industry if you learn the bioinformatics tools. Now the next part of bioinformatics will be studying the protein structure and function in bioinformatics. So obviously this is a very popular topic. I'm sure most of you already know it. We can do structural analysis, we can do functional prediction and we can also create interaction networks. We can understand and analyze the protein-protein interaction network and this will give us insight into complex web of connections between proteins within the biological systems. Now understanding these interactions is important for unraveling disease pathways and designing interventions that modulate the specific protein interaction to restore normal cellular function. At one place, we are doing the structural analysis of protein. Moving ahead, we, can underst we are understanding the functions. We are predicting the functions and then we can create interaction networks. So basically, there is a company called Quantum Zyme, which is doing the same thing. They are understanding the protein structure and then they are designing their own enzymes, custom industry industrial enzymes, and it is closely associated with Biotechnica. You will see a lot of advertisement of Quantum Zyme on Biotechnica's job portal. So that's one application of bioinformatics. The next one which we have is new biomarkers in disease detection. A lot of research is going into biomarker research. Now advancement in bioinformatics is leading the way of biomarker research. It is helping us discover new biomarkers that play a crucial role in the early detection and monitoring of diseases. Now researchers are using sophisticated algorithms and genomic analysis to identify biomarkers associated with various medical conditions. This has paved the way for more accurate diagnostic tools and deeper understanding of disease progression, how exactly the disease is moving forward in a human body. Now, this is all. This is now leading to a next step where we are able to do precise, accurate medical diagnosis of a particular disease. And then we will be also able to do effective disease monitoring. So disease progression, disease diagnosis and disease monitoring. All the three aspects of disease can be monitored using bioinformatics and that will help us create a better life for human race. Next contribution of bioinformatics will be in CRISPR-Cas9 and synthetic biology. There is no denying fact that bioinformatics has significantly contributed to the development of cutting-edge biotechnologies including CRISPR-Cas9 
Cas9 Gene Editing and Synthetic Biology. If you remember, in 2023, we had an internship on CRISPR mRNA internship and CRISPR Bioinformatics internship. So CRISPR Bioinformatics internship became very popular. We conducted it in March of 2023. And there we studied how we are using bioinformatics tools into CRISPR-Cas9. So now let's move on to the next part, which is understanding the evolutionary relationship through bioinformatics. So we have four levels. The first will be obviously understanding how a species evolved, then understanding the genetic variability. Then we can also understand the biodiversity insights. And followed by that, we can also use the Gen this bioinformatics tools to unravel the genetic origins of life on Earth. So bioinformatics is playing a crucial role in understanding the evolutionary biology also. And that is bringing me to the conclusion of this video where I would like to highlight this fact. If you are not learning bioinformatics in 2024, you are potentially going to lose out on mega opportunities in 2048. The next 24 years are going to be the crucial years for your growth in career. So why not become a data scientist, bio IT scientist, a bioinformatician, bioinformatics scientist and jump in and revolutionize the biotech industry. Remember, if somebody make, helps me do things faster, I will definitely take it, right? So for example, a car helps me reach to my office faster. So that is why people buy cars. The same way bioinformatics helps you do more things faster in biotech industry efficiently. So people are going to hire you more faster if you learn bioinformatics. So that's all from Biotechnica's YouTube channel. I hope you liked it and loved this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Bye-bye.